Hey there everyone, Trantia here, and welcome to some kind of random, probably one-off. Uh, I'm checking out a game called Deadlink. It was, it's on sale for the Steam sale. Uh, I was interested in it, so I decided to pick it up, because I just kind of want some non-committal gaming right now, because the last project I was trying to do uh, is dead in the water, because my saves didn't save in the cloud. I mean, I have no idea what to expect, really, so let's just uh, get going in memory slot one. Sure, tutorial sounds great. And also, yes, this is the first thing I'm doing on my ultra-wide and ultra-wide resolution video, so uh, that's fun. See, bright enough to the feature we dreamed up. That feature is here. It's blindingly bright with neon lights and the blinking of LEDs. Optimism, however, is only experienced with the right neuro, uh, neurotransmitter cocktail or a glitch in your cybernetic synapses. All right, yeah, heard that one before. Uh, good morning. Oh, I was in a coma. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I'm working now. Let's put on the train. Oh, I don't want the training wheels. I, I took those off and I haven't had to put them back on since. Interesting. Uh, on my OBS, the, the sides seem completely black, but in, in my view, <laughs> they are not completely black. Whatever. Uh, that's another thing, too, is I'm trying different ways of, of playing games in HDR but not recording in it, so the colors aren't completely weird. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now everything's black. Ooh, all right, man. I tell you, playing games in Ultra Ride has is, is just been kind of something that I didn't really think I'd care too much for, but it's really nice. Oh, we got a double jump. Dash with left shift. All right, standard stuff. Oh, you, you love a good old frame starter when you shoot a guy. Oh, mouse wheel up, huh? This isn't a mouse wheel up kind of thing. Uh, break C balls with melee E for ammo. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna change that real quick because we in this household we believe in back mouse button as melee. Uh, weapons, abilities. Oh, yeah. It's middle mouse mode. Uh, middle mouse button by default. Huh. This, this isn't shader compilation stuff, is it? Guess we'll find out. That would be kind of disappointing if that's the case. I mean, I'm just kind of speeding on my ass, but it just seems like. Oh, hey, you know, shoot enemy with new gun for the first time, it stutters. It makes you think shader compilation. Oh, man, that <laughs> that slow-mo really messes with your, uh, your sensitivity. All of that motion blur that it was doing was, was fun. You know, motion blur is a thing that I th I've kind of turned around on in recent years. I used to really hate it because back in, like, the Xbox 360, PS3, like, ge that generation of games, uh, it was always just the worst. Okay, when killed, mark enemies, drop resources. Good to know. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have any more rockets left. Oh, Grip Warrior Rappel. Oh, Rappel. Rappel. Jesus Christ. Yeah, my, my brain has not had to work very hard today, so... Oh man, this seems to give me a grappling hook. Okay, this, this game's already pretty cool. It gives me a grappling hook. Ooh, what's this? The scrambler? Are they just stunned? Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that, that is such a fun effect. You get scrambled. I take this. I grapple to you. Oh, okay, scramble not available yet. Okay, I see it's on the right. I think I think it's the biggest uh, hurdle with ultra wide so far is just. Uh, having to look further to the right and or left in some games, which most of the point, like most of the time it's not a problem for me, but I don't know, I haven't really played many FPS games yet on this ultra wide, so it's a little weird uh, getting used to that. I, I will say this, there, there's like no feeling quite as good as when uh, a game supports wide or ultra wide proper. It's just, I don't know. I mean, even like hell, even if like I have to mod it, like Elden Ring, I had to mod out the black bars and then move the HUD to the sides, but I don't know, it's just, it's just fun. 
I mean, I guess it also helps that I'm, I'm playing on, <laughs> like, literally the best hardware that you can get right now. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, shit better be looking good. Oh, okay, I should... Oh, okay, so they're marked with the grenades. I get it. Let me jump into the grenades. That was so unnecessary. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot this is the roguelike thing. Next shot will shock enemy. Consider me in. Uh, this is your combat shells and inventory window. On the left, you'll find the implant matrix. The implant matrix consists of activators, slots, implants, and the backpack. Activators are bound to certain actions performed by your combat shell. Performing any of these actions will trigger the implants assigned to the activator slots. Most implants provide active and passive effects. An active effect is triggered by performing the assigned activator action. A passive effect will always remain active as long as the implant remains assigned in any slot. Your newly acquired implants reside within your backpack. Implants can be moved freely between the... Okay, so cool. We can move the stuff around whenever we want. Now drag the implant from your backpack to any slot of your choosing. Okay. Close that. Okay, so... Oh, okay, okay. So I can put this in anything. Let's see, Bob. Okay, so maybe on repel the grappling hook thing. That way, we grapple to someone, we can shock someone else or something. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, also, yeah, it's, it started again with that new lighting effect. Oh, yes, I, I could just fucking, uh, what? I could grapple into someone and then just <laughs> shoot the next guy over like this. Oh, <laughs> this is the part where I had to reload my gun. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. I guess I can scramble. I have the techniques, I have the abilities. Do a little bit of stunning. All right, th okay, these drones seem to be problems. Yeah? Am I gathering that one well? I don't know what this guy's shooting at. Ooh. It, God, it's like some PS2 motion blur shit. And that, like, that's the kind of motion blur I love, even if it can be really bad at times. But just the, the way that that system, or these games I play in that system, dealt with motion blur is just, I don't know, very nostalgic. It makes you feel very good. Oh no, not the data stream corruption. I'm assuming it's just the end of the tutorial. Oh no, not the data loss imminent. Oh, that sucks. Oh, not a fan of the tone. <laughs> Killed by missing string table entry. Okay, I think I, I think I'm picking up this game's point down a little bit. Oh, what's up, Rumiko Usagi? Had to be even tutorial. The damn thing did it again. The bug almost flatlined you even after the months you were kept on stand. Well, you guys didn't iron this stuff out yet? Come on now. Deadly protocol slows glitches, and I don't have the full picture of what parameters have that slight chance of untangling your neural pathways. Okay, yeah, you know, that's fair. I never want the director's pet student to end up in a vegetative state. But that's part of the excitement, right? The first fully cyberized agent of the corporate security agency has to take some risk. Being a guinea pig in my personal QA for this untested tech is part of it. Okay. Ah, speaking of the director, he'll be arriving at HQ soon, gloriously returning from his Congress tour. Someone's got a crack whip around here. Maybe he'll get the code, jo uh, the code jockeys to fix that tutorial bug. Yeah, he better. Before you have your TFL reunion, strap in for additional sims. As always, VR interfaces re uh, reproduce in real models, so if a servo won't actuate the, in the simulation, it will fail in meat space as well, a point, we, a point of failure we can't afford. Alright, well, let, let's give a run. Let's go. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have different combat shells. Complete 10 combat encounters to unlock. And download data stored at Watts Rucker Labs. Okay, so this is exactly what we just started with. I mean, I'm looking real ugly, though. I'm just looking like a robot. Well, look, the last thing I ran into that was in Tor was in Nopon, and I didn't really care for that much. And I don't know, like, this, seeing this, just, like, it makes me want to immediately download, like, Cyberpunk or something. And just replay that. But I should probably just wait for the DLC. Oh, Sex Club, huh? Actually, you know what? Uh, before I get into this run proper, I just want to make sure that my actual recording looks fine, because I just look over at OBS, and that shit looks fucking, uh, 
real punchy, so one moment. Okay, apologies for that. I, I forgot that I changed the setting in my game capture settings in OBS because I was playing the game in HDR, but this game doesn't have HDR, at least to toggle in the game. So sorry that the tutorial was looking real punchy. Although I, I, I kind of like the way that looks, to be honest. But all right, let's fucking go. We have a sex club to the right. It's a little fun lucky cat. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what to expect here. Okay, so I, I just have my both my guns all ready. Now can I like... Okay, I can only grapple with enemies. Well, that's fine. All right, let's go. First combat encounter, probably, I'm assuming. All right, just more more walking, which I'm fine with. All right, green barrel. Okay, so that just gives me the rockets. Oh, you poor guy. You, you really shouldn't have done what you did. Okay, reload. Four shots for this. All right, we we learning. Yeah, okay, shock that guy. Okay, you broke out of that real quick. I'm sorry, I have, I have his grenades. Just my other abilities too. Now, I feel like scramble is is best for multiple enemies in your way. At least that's what it made. It's, uh, it seemed like that in the tutorial. Now, are there any like? Pickups I can get here? Are there any things I should be looking out for? Okay, we have uh, anime girls on the walls. <laughs> Mass hysteria. Oh man, seeing that makes me like kind of wish I had the uh, like neon color strings for my guitars. But with how much of a a big thing it is for me to change my strings, anyways, I don't I don't think that'd be the best. All right, let's see. So I'm assuming. Not sure exactly what uh, these are the passes or not. Let's see, five descent, descent, defense power plus ten max shields plus fifteen skill power. We're gonna attack power and max HP. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna go to the noob trap and I'm just gonna get the the defense thing. Uh, next weapon shot deals fifty percent bonus damage with a passive of deal twenty five percent more damage to light enemies and deal a hundred. So okay, that's skill power damage to marked enemies. You know I like stuff like that and. Uh, <laughs> Once again, I'm just gonna go to repel use, rapple, any rapplers. That just seems like a, a decent combo. Just grapple at someone and then just fuck them up. Let's try it. I mean, yeah, okay, they just die instantly. What is that sound? It's just to get the fuck out of whatever that is. I mean, it just sounded like it was a big, scary robot. You know, this is also... Like, this particular arena is kind of reminding me of... One of the... I don't know, like... Mid-game levels of Shadow Warrior 2. Really, this, like, kind of cool big city. Although, I think at this point, the, the less we talk about... Shadow Warrior 2, the better. I don't, I don't know why I say that. It's definitely... The Black Sheep of the series. But I, I had fun with it, for the most part. It's a lot easier for me to go back to Shadow Warrior Two than to Shadow Warrior One. Ooh, you know I should. Ooh, I should redownload Shadow Warrior Three and see how that looks on this thing, and then just play through it all in a single day because that game's really short. But I kind of appreciate the fact that it's super short. What the fuck is this? Okay, they got shields behind them. All right, so we're gonna figure out how to deal with that in a second. That guy just did like a flying jump kick at me or something. Okay, okay, we can grab on the ledges. Good to know. Okay, we just gotta hit these guys from the back. I guess we can hit them with the grenade too. Okay, we can scramble. Okay, this is not good. Okay, it's, it's good I went for the noob trap because I'm bad. <laughs> Got that Seymour Wrestler drip though. I can appreciate that a lot. What was this? Was this just, uh,. Oh, okay, so I have, okay, three grenades. I'm not sure if I recharge one or what. <laughs> Things I probably should have paid attention to in the uh, tutorial. What was that? Okay, that's just temp shield. Okay, and that, that counts down outside of, well, just, you know, automatically. Ooh, okay, this one's rare, but we have to pay for it. I see. Sure, that sounds fun. Uh, okay, and then we can we get something that just goes right into that. 
Launch one homing projectile, applying stun to an enemy. But our shield also goes up. Okay, you know, that sounds pretty good to me. I mean, I can swap weapons real, real fucking fast. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so I need to do it on one of these things. Okay, I get it. So maybe I'll do that on weapon swap, because I can just do that all the time. I will keep that on scrambler use, so actually, you know what? Until I get something else, I will keep that on the grapple. Because I kind of like that. I like that combo. Oh, dude, nice washers. Where are the dryers at? Unless those are dryers. They were nice laundry machines, dude. Oh my god. Wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here, though. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, that tracks, I guess. Uh, I just saw a red circle. I'm assuming that just meant enemy attack. <laughs> I've played enough uh, Soul Stone Survivors to fear the red circles. Okay, I will be sure. That, that was what I wanted to do. Okay, do you have a little bit of temporary shield yourself there? Is that what I just saw? Okay, I think I'm getting kind of rocked right now. I mean, I still have all my health, but they don't mean much in the grand scheme. Okay, you will just get fucking stunned and killed. You know, every time this, this Simo guy comes up, <laughs> just avoid him. Okay, that's a timer thing. Good to know. I see you did like stop for a second. Alright, cool. So that guy's gone. Okay, so it's just me and the, the big boy, I'm assuming. Okay, he can shoot over shit. He doesn't care about my shit at all. Alright, nice. And the fucking cool slow mo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I can go to any one of these things. I can get credits. You know what? As much as I want to get a weapon mod, I think I'll go to shell upgrade. Which I think is what I've been doing, or no? Uh, Scrambler deflects protected. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Grip wire does 80 plus 15 uh, skill damage to hooked enemies upon disconnecting the grapple. Okay, if an enemy is killed short after being hooked, the. Okay, well, that was the easiest one of my life. No, oh, more sex clubs, or is this the, the coveted one? Oh, nice spike. Looking a little blocky. I mean, that's remind me of those fucking late game. <laughs> so only two enemies that were just fucking motorcycles. Spoilers, I guess. Okay, some kind of new enemy. Oh my god, you didn't die? Really? I'm gonna scramble your shit. Okay, we're gonna grapple over to this guy. Break this to get that extra rocket. I don't know why I decided to use both of my abilities there, but that's what we're doing right now. Nice, okay, we get that back. Oh, okay, he just does long dashes. That <laughs> explains why I couldn't see him before, really. Yeah, he was just clapping at me. I don't appreciate getting clapped at. Okay, so yeah, we're just getting neural boost. That was, okay, that was something different. Like, I'll figure it out eventually, all right? I like this. Uh, if you think this is bad, you should. Uh, can you guys read the rest of that? You you should. Oh, see what. Something. Well, that didn't go very well. You know, this is also kind of remind me of Turbo Overkill, but that's kind of a. I mean, it's kind of like the same theme almost. Ooh, you know, okay, fuck that. Shotgun, let's go. Flashbang. Shock near enemies. Weapon fire rate increased by 20% for four seconds. Shot, oh, okay, yeah, that's a good for me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I mean, you're speaking my language here. Give me six shots with this thing. What was the other part of it? I don't remember. Yeah, those, those two shots are going to come in clutch. I can feel it. 
Nice, nice. Look. Get this fucking boost. Where'd he go? Take care of this nuisance. Yes. Oh. <laughs> He's kind of fell over. Nice, nice. All of these things. Get over here. Don't know what you really do besides teleport. I don't really subscribe to that kind of mentality. Let's mark these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scramble this guy. And then try to get the fuck out of dodge. Can I? Okay, my cooldown's up. That's why I couldn't grapple. Someone's like, I'm pretty sure I can grapple to these uh, little guys. Nice. Ooh, okay, we're gonna get a weapon mod this time. Okay, well, I can get token, weapon mod, or XP. Weapon mods are pretty self-explanatory, but... So is XP. What, what, what is token? I'm curious. What, what is your this token you speak of? Terrain tokens acquired? I'm sure that will make sense to me once I get back to the menu. Oh, nice. They just got poisoned. I think they all died. Even the disappearing bitch. That guy definitely uh, is still alive and well, though, because I just saw him now. Alright, so I almost just did something else stupid and just was like, wow, this game also reminds me of another game with a very similar theming, which, you know, no shit, Sherlock. It's gonna tend to be how it is. But playing this also makes me want to play Ghost Runner again. I don't think I've, I haven't played that since a little bit after it came out. I, I streamed it all those uh, years ago. When did that game come out? <laughs> okay, I missed I missed the uh, the scramble. Okay, we gotta wait for this cooldown. Let me hit this and just uh, hopefully they hit that. Fuck you, pause. Wow, okay, we, we get a lot of momentum with that thing. I quote, one's dead. Okay, I, I'm gonna be the only one who gets to kill me, okay? Where the fuck do you come from? Yo, I'm just kinda curious what the other characters, what their guns are. But no, we're wrong. I'm having fun with these guns still, but it's just like, okay, well, what else we got in this game? I guess we just get the neural boost. Chemist, huh? Don't tell you, it's not just a regular chemist, though. He's got the little doctor sign. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess that would kind of be like the same shit in this this kind of time, huh? Ooh, five percent critical damage. I like seeing that. Let me just not pick up the rare one. Let's see, stun marked enemies for three seconds. We'll do more damage to them. I'd have to get rid of one of my things, though. Or, I mean, I guess I don't have to. I can just put that on Seaball Break. But, <laughs> it's kind of... Well, you know, whatever. Fuck it. We'll just find out what happens. We're having fun here. The Doom Eternal Subway. With less fireballs. Okay, so if I mark you guys and then... Oh, well, I have to break a Seaball. Never mind. Wow, that would have been the perfect time to get that <laughs> corroded enemy nonsense. Oh god. E. Okay, we're, we're gonna try to... Okay, oh, okay, I think it did stun them. That's... That's a very useful thing. I could just kind of lock enemies down. Okay, we have two of these things. Alright, if there was ever a time for me to die, it's gonna be in this room, I'm pretty sure. But, oh man, that speed feels good. When the game just gives me the speed like that, man, it, it's, it just makes for a good time. Well, I should have thrown a grenade at this thing before I did that. 
Wait, did another fucking one of those things spawn? Wait, okay, you kind of scare me because you're close to me. God, that... Flinging myself like that just kind of never gets boring. I'm not going to lie. Fuck it, we're going to travel into this. Scramble this guy. Ooh, corner not good. I'm not sure if this game kind of operates in a way of just like there's X amount of enemies that will spawn, or if these kind of bigger enemies are kind of like the key to ending these encounters. You know, I think I said that in a way that is comprehensible. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I have to punch this. I don't know why, like, I just want to shoot them. I don't know what game kind of taught me to shoot orb things like that, but probably a lot of them, I imagine. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, that big guy's dead. Scramble these guys. Okay, well, okay. So it seems that like you can kind of reload cancel a little bit. Alright, grapple. Nice, okay, that guy's dead. So I, I need to remember that I can climb things. It will stun this guy. Yeah, man, that that is a decent little combo. At least for this very moment. Med tech. Like I said, XP. XP is pretty straightforward. I'm assuming this is like survivability stuff. I don't know. The, the, the XP is kind of pink and I'm, I'm a huge fan of the color. God, like I said, it, it's so fun just flinging yourself. Yeah, I kind of went through this same thing earlier. It's a coveted sex club. That's going around in circles now. All right, no, we, we need to scramble you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not dealing with this shit right now. Wait, wait. How the fuck do they have four rockets? Or did I not? Am I on crack? What just happened? <laughs> okay, yeah, she's fucking gone. We'd love to see that. Okay, is there one of those fucking robots? Is that why? Where's it her? I don't know what is causing uh, circles to appear. Oh, nice, 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 nice. That was perhaps huge. Oh yeah, fucking break that. Fling myself. Over. God damn it, man! I'm like, I know I keep saying it, but that's the kind of shit I love in in video games like this. I love grappling hooks. I love being able to fling myself. The only extra bonus that this could get is that if I can use the grappling hook to uh, break myself out of bounds. You know, I, I guess I'll tell this story. Uh, you know, I have a channel. Well, no shit. <laughs> I have a video on my channel from uh, many moons ago when uh, my buddy Mike and I were playing Dying Light One. We're playing DLC, and uh, we were just doing some out of bounds exploring. And we figured out how to get to the dev room without like using the intended method of a, from a mission. And in Dying Light 2, we, we kind of figured out how to brute force clipping through walls, which was really fun, actually. I, we didn't record a video of it, but we did spend a lot of time getting to an area from a side quest because we could. Okay, I need to get my fucking head in the game here. I need to just scramble these enemies and kill them. I have three abilities and I only use two of them. Welcome to my fucking life. Oh wow, we're going on to the last room, huh? I mean, I'm down. If if this just kind of takes, like, you know, around 20 minutes for a run, that is kind of, like, ideal, honestly. Ooh, we get a shop. What do we get in here? Okay, so we can, we can just buy some stuff. Uh, dragon implant here to have it for credits. Okay, so if we had a bunch of them... Why an additional implant slot? Ooh, movement speed increment. Oh my god, this is kind of sick. So I can put this here. Oh my god. We fill up grenades. Well, ooh, so I can I can oh I can, so I can change my grenade to a corrosive one. 
Okay, well, I, yeah, on, on first, on second glance, this is kind of a pointless thing to have on Scramble. In, okay, I don't know, whatever. We're just going to go with what we got. Actually, I don't know, I guess to be fair, this, this, there could be multiple zones. Uh, if you don't like the fire, nothing will burn. I mean, that's pretty true. We gotta do some platforming to get into this bitch. Alright, well, this is definitely a boss room if I've ever seen one. Spider. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect here. Except the fact I'm not safe because misses. Uh, looks like he was. Is he shielded? What is going on here? Maybe not. Okay, oh, ads, ads, okay. Ads, I can deal with ads. I didn't mark. <laughs> there we get corroded. You get it. I mean, I shouldn't be. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. I should be, you know, letting those things cook the bad guy enemy. Okay, I guess he probably doesn't care about this whole stunning business. Because then, you know, why would you even try to do anything else besides just stun him? Okay, we'll just reload. Oh wait, okay, was that like a crit spot right there? Is that what that was? Maybe it is. Okay, let me just get over to this. I don't know why I wasted that on that guy, but... I oh, hope I enjoyed it. Oh, okay, laser beam. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them laser beams. That guy's having fun. Laser beam. Alright, so now we just stun that guy. Okay, was something else glowing red? Okay, more laser beam. Seem to be doing a lot of laser beams now. Okay, that's not great. Oh my god, fuck off. Okay, okay, that kind of goes kind of far, honestly. Oh man, being in midair with a laser like that, not the best idea. That's a lot of lasers. And he's just like constantly lasering, huh? I gotta be real fucking careful because I'm just kind of losing my life. Oh fuck. We're not even bigger guys now? That's kind of unfortunate. Dude, oh my god. Oh, man. Okay. Huh. All right, well, that was 10 areas. That got a little hairy there at the end. Ooh, initializing Watts Rucker. So we will unlock the first class, because we did 10 combat areas. I do remember it says something about the Watts Rucker. Okay, we're just going right into it. Oh, and I keep my health. Okay, that guy should be stunned. This has looking like some like the mercenary from Risk of Raid. Let's do that. Oh, are they throwing corrosive shit at me now? That would add up, I suppose. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure this run is getting to a very close end here. Okay, yeah, I got all the all my rockets and stuff, so let's just go. Uh, shotgun damage, yeah, I do be using that. 
Seaball shock when you're by enemy, and then we have passive. Yeah, it may as well. A lot of corrosive things here. Oh, okay. Well, I have to, I still have to put that on something. I just like the movement speed increase, so. Hmm, whatever. We'll just go with this for now. The guy with the cowboy hat? He's my favorite enemy. Get launched. You know, I've had this melee thing for how long, and I probably just used it for the first time on enemy right there. Because <laughs> all I do is just melee sea balls. I mean, that fast rocket launcher is sure nice, though. Yeah, I can just scramble that guy. <laughs> That's just like kissed my pop filter. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh, that made a sound. Damn, four shots, huh? Hmm. I mean, if I really want this end to run right now, fuck it. I mean, who, who, what is life if not a challenge? Oh, never mind, I can't. We're not taking the challenge. Okay, scramble to deflect with your opponents. Grip wire does 80 plus 45. Okay. Yeah, sure. Give me more of that grapple damage. Okay, we'll just stun this guy real quick. Get corroded, son. A uh, ball above me. I mean, you know, it's probably a bad habit just to, like, you know, turn my back on enemies all the time because I'm just trying to do this. But if it works, it works. Uh, then <laughs> we don't we, we don't have to talk about that grenade throw, okay? We will talk about the fact that I just punched the shit out of that guy, though. Mm, defense, yeah, let's go with that one. I mean, sure, whatever. I. I I mean, uh, that one is kind of nice as cooldowns, but I mean, my cooldowns are kind of good anyways. Hmm. And, uh, I like all this stuff, though. Whatever. Fuck it. We just going. And I'm still rocking my 11 HP, though. Yeah, you two get stunned now. I'm going to punch you out. What the fuck is that thing? I don't like that thing at all. Got stunned now. Okay, you make, yeah, you make noise. I don't know what that noise means, but it's probably something I don't like. I'll punch him in the back. <laughs> I love how much damage that does with the, the switch. We just 416 to punch him in the head. Right, well, we, I remember I can't take the challenge as much as I would like to, so we just take credits. Ooh, there's only nine areas here. Have fun with that one. Punch that now. Okay, thing made noise. The thing is in here. No, it's not that one. It's that one. Oh, because it's just summoning drones. I get it now. Okay, I should probably really take care of the thing that is flying and making drones. Instead, I will just continue to shoot the guys on the ground. Because I have brain rot. Just scramble it. Yeah, have fun summoning shit, buddy. Oh my god. Okay, it's cool. Very good that we can just kind of like grapple through uh, the things like that. Get punched in the head. Yeah, we're just scrambling. Well, let's take care of this in an easy way. Okay, now we're rocking the 10 HP. We took a little bit of damage in that room, but you know, 
Life is life. Yeah, I like that plus five max HP. Is that get added to my pool now? Uh, Nerve transmitter booster stacks are removed upon taking damage. Incoming damage reduced by 15. Oh, what the hell? Become immune to damage two seconds. Hmm. You know, I kind of like the idea of doing that, and then we can just put that on there, even though it's, you know, sort of the fucking one star ones. Then we just grapple at stuff, and then we become immune to damage, and take less damage. And with how often I can use my grapple due to the, the passive of reducing the cooldown, if I kill an enemy quick enough, I think that's a pretty good idea. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that is the new big damage move. I kind of thought I hit, I hit maybe something with, <laughs> with that, but if not, you know, I, I just I, I take my L. I move on. Okay, that thing's dead. And then, oh, I'm out of the fucking ammo. It's fine, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to look at my things someday. Scramble, murder. Oh yeah, punch you to kill you. Wait, oh yeah. I was like, when did I get more health? Because I got that upgrade. It was shop though. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can heal myself at this shop. It's getting kind of hot in my room. <laughs> Restores 50 HP for 200 credits. You got it, boyo. Oh, I can get more of those. That's on swapping weapons. Okay, yeah, so then we can do that. This is a yeah, energy output two. Yeah, I have three. Reduce skill. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. I mean, sure, I, I already said that this is kind of a pointless thing to have on here. Oh, man. I could mark things and then just grapple. <laughs> that could be fun. But I feel like if I'm... I feel like this is a pretty decent synergy of grapple at thing to then become immune to damage. This thing I don't fucking need. I'll maybe keep that one. Oh man, I already had area six and nine, huh? Oh my god. I forgot what I had on that one already. Did I just change that too? Well, I think that one uh, marks stunned enemies. Find out. Yes. Okay, you have big old shield. Big ol' shield man kind of fills me with a little bit of dread. Unsure of if that's warranted or not. I mean, we kind of had a big ol' shield guy in the last thing, but his was a bit cooler and he looked like a sumo wrestler. This guy just wanted, he was like a wannabe merc or something. Get rid of these fucking drones. He got double stunned. Oh wait, is that... Is that okay? No, it, it is okay. I thought for a second that it could have maybe been my uh, what you call it, uh, my armor being low, but no, it's some of just those stupid ass drones. Okay, it's all right, buddy. Just fucking calm down. Stop running now. Get grappled. <laughs> all right, we just kind of bullied that guy a little bit. Uh, oh man, that HP stuff again. But also that shotgun damage again. Oh hey, it's OLED pixel refresh time. Uh, okay, I need to get OBS to read this. I can't read it. Uh, deal 100 damage to marked enemies. <laughs> uh, refill 20% ammo for shotgun. Shotgun damage increased. I kind of like that one a little bit. It's a doubler. Hmm. I could play a little more balls to the wall. 
and do that, right? I mean, my skills are so reduced. Oh, man. Uh, maybe I'll be able to buy another double slot next time I find a shop. Ooh, grab hammer, man. All right. Uh, okay, I kind of missed my jump there. So whatever. We'll just do that. We're fine. I'm a huge fan of this grab hammer nonsense. Do that and stun you. <laughs> Ooh, grenade him. The guy's almost dead. Oh god. And do that. Stun. Punch a drone. Oh yeah, I just punched that guy instead. Okay, wow. That felt pretty fun. That, that, that felt pretty good. I mean, I, I definitely took damage, but... Felt pretty good. Alright, shop. Oh, I don't have enough credits, though. I mean, how much would this be worth? 50? Not enough. Damn. Just imagine if I could put that there. Oh, Alright, let's, let's see what the boss of this zone is. What's over here? We got specimen. Uh, auto. Auto receratis personnel. Well, that's, that's not. Oh, I mean, I could have just looked over here. We got the tyrant tubes over here. We're playing Resident Evil now. We're off limits. Ooh. Oh, this. Uh. uh Hey there, nice to stalk you, I guess. You haven't met yet after all. It's so refreshing to touch the net again, and it's all thanks to your friends at the CSA. A sign of gratitude, I injected these blueprints into your simulation and had the Wattsworker 3D printer spin them out. Meta, right? I bet you don't know what's real anymore. Welcome to my life. Uh, you know, slash frowning face. Anyways, enjoy your new combat shell. Cool. I mean, the first one was just for living through 10 combat encounters, which I've done with flying colors. Now, I think that was the second one. Okay, what, what are you doing there, Buster? Shield slamming. Got it. I kind of like that. Oh, maybe it didn't move. Maybe I'm just crazy. Need to scramble you. Okay, you need to stop what you're doing. Oh, drone. Man, fuck out of here. I'm really bad at shooting this thing. Fucking die. Yeah, I need to... Where's my dash cooldown? Can I see that? Because I'm just kind of spamming it. I'm like... It's like bad, uh, bad habits in Elden Ring for me where I just kind of panic roll. Oh, that was kind of cool the way he took his shield out. Oh, just grab it away. Nice. I like the part where I, like, I don't know, that was like a quite champion shot or something. Doing a cool jump and then just shooting that hoe in midair. I, I didn't do it again, though. <laughs> he says scared because the guy just started attacking him. Stun you. I need a shield from something. I'll take that. Come on, hit me again. I dare you. Oh, he's coming at me with the shield. <laughs> that wasn't what I was meaning. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I just like went through his ass. Oh man, fuck you. I don't know what you're up to, you're just gonna chill him. I mean, you do you, I guess. Oh, that was a fucking wrong button press if I've ever seen it. I also missed this guy's AoE attack because of it. Did I actually dodge there or did I get hit by that? Get 
that. Man, this, this guy with everything. Fucking die, brother. Okay, was that just like a little... Uh... Where's he? Or, or can not describe it. Like a little cone move we just did? Yeah, we're just gonna have to do a little bit of a jump. Oh god, auto rocket still. They stun you, get this. Oh, did he just kill his, his dad there? I think he did. Man, why do you have to keep spawning? That is so unfortunate. Oh, I got hit by the enemies. I was like, there's no way in fucking hell that guy actually just hit me with that. Fuck you, man. Why did I keep trying to shoot that? I, I went over somebody, too. <laughs> Why couldn't you just shoot it? I did just dodge it, though. I think you missed the part where I did. Okay, you need to go die. Did <laughs> I just, like, ride into that? You never fucking learn, do you? Let's stun you. Okay. <laughs> I'm like not even paying attention to the fucking boss at this point. I am on the last phase, though. Or at least the last section of this health bar. Now he's doing AOE moves like that. Okay. Now he's also got the fucking shield guys out. Alright, I think it's wraps for me, fellas. I'm just getting kind of attacked from, like, everywhere at this point. That was kind of just like a panic everything. Ooh, I'm gonna grab this. Yeah, yeah. These guys shooting at me is kind of counterintuitive to living. Okay, you need to die, like, right now. Not me. I, I don't need to die. <laughs> I'm going to die, so I keep missing my fucking shots. I just fucking hit the shift caps lock. Brought my steam over, like. No, no, no. I ain't going down like this. We got uh. Yes! Get fucked! <laughs> oh, but this is, like I said, it's counterintuitive because it's getting so hot in my room. I just kind of want to stop because it's so hot, but the show must go on. I'm rocking that one HP. Oh, wait, that was it. I won't complain. Let's see, shell upgrades. Oh, okay, that, that's just stuff. This is just show me what I had 310 kills. 191 with the shotgun, 57 with the rocket launcher, 19 melee, 8 grenade, 15 environmental, 58,000 damage done, uh, literally almost 59k. Yeah, let's see what uh, our spoils of war are. Are you going to give me any, like, war stuff, or is this just your loading screen? Just your loading screen. Oh. Ah, so good to see. Uh, excuse me, what am I looking at here? I'm sure there's in some sort of glitch. You've already completed a full simulation run? That surpasses all expectations we had for you. Truly remarkable. Something to show the pencil pushers at the hill, proving the potential of the Deadlink Protocol. Don't uncork the champagne just yet. You still have to test the Hunter Combat Shell Rumiko came up with. I've also authorized an overclock to our simulation mainframes, increasing their intensity and difficulty. It will be unlocked with the next Deadlink update. I'm eager to see, you, see if you can handle the deep dive. Alright, time to assess another batch of sim results. Wait, what the hell? What is this? This data isn't for any of my inputs. We've been compromised. I have to inform the director. But the data has a blatant signature. Is the hacker trying to show off? M.A. Oh, I get it now. That convict thinks she's real clever. We loosen her shackles and she repays us with a security breach. When she gets delivered here, I'll relegate her to the digital equivalent of shoveling shit. That's rich. Seems she left us a gift. Schematics for a new combat shell she calls the engineer. 
I was made aware of it before. I would plug the specs myself, eventually. It's a field hacker android, as you expect. Bit of a self-insert, but I say we humor her. Hey, so then, yeah, that's both. Uh, time to take your new Semenek body for a test drive. While lower on the health, the Hunter makes up for it with its deadly hand- Oh, hand cannon. And the array of diversion capabilities, including optical camouflage and a powerful switchback ability. And then... The Engineer. You can now test the designated hacker combat shell with less- While less mobile, the Engineer is an excellent- Is excellent at area denial, using the Wormlink Breach to stop enemies in their tracks, peppering them with bullets with the Gauss Rifle and Lawbreaker Sentry. And then Deep Dive. Looks like you need extra challenge. You've been cleared access to- Cleared access to the Deep Dive difficulty level. And what's all this, then? So the, the tokens and the exchange things. After each combat- Okay, so we restore HP. Oh, additional dash. That's- That's the fucking first one right there. Uh, damage boost. Gain access to challenge rooms. And then gain additional weapon swap activated for each combat shell. What does that mean? Whatever, uh... Hold to get. Oh, I see. That's, that's what it means. We'll use one Turing token on this. And then... I think I will... I'll go health. Oh, I see. I'm making we can use more of these here, too. Oh, man. The shock and ammo capacity. Ooh, well, this will bring in one shield every second. That's pretty sick. All right, well, damn. Uh, really good first impressions. I had a lot of fun with that. I mean, yeah, it's in early access, and I, I've, I've read the reviews before I even purchased it where people are saying, no, there's not that much here right now, but, like, it just feels really good, and I can agree. Oh, uh, that feels really good. Like I said, there is just something so, like, fun, and I'm trying to think of the other words to, to, to describe it with. Uh, I don't know. It makes my Neanderthalic brain tingle with a lot of happies when I grapple and I get that massive speed boost. There is just something so fun about that. And I mean, yeah, the, the you know, of course, skill issues aside, I mean, you know, even if enemies are a bit squishy, I mean, you have the tools to take care of them. You can stun them, all that stuff. I don't know. I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do any more of this recording wise. I just wanted something very non-committal because I was just kind of sitting here doing nothing. And then my other project just kind of died in the water because saves didn't save in the cloud. And new PC, you know how it is. So thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, I'm Trentia. You guys have a good day.